and we are back hello everyone welcome back to five minutes code channel where i will be explaining the solution of every problem of lead code and geeks or geeks within less than five minutes so that you can save your time as well as improve your problem solving skills okay so today's problem of the day is find element occurring once when all other are present thrice okay so i think the problem title is self-explanatory and it's explaining what we have to do so we will be given an array okay and in that array every number will be present thrice except one number which will be present only once okay so here if you will see one 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 ten so here ten is present once and all other are present thrice in the same way if you will see this so here all the numbers are present thrice except three which is present only once okay so three here two 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 one 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 thirty one thirty one thirty one okay i think the problem have statement you have got this so there are basically three ways to solve this three or more ways i will say the first one is just sort the array okay so just sort the array and uh, keep on checking if arr of i equal to i plus one and at any point if it is not equal arr i is not equal to arr i plus one so just return that okay i think you are getting this and uh, second one will be hash map so how are we going to use hash map uh, come like uh, we store the frequency of every number of uh, int array into a map and then iterate over the map again to find out the that number whose that key whose frequency is one and i will return that key okay so these are basically two ways the third way is a bit manipulation okay so bit manipulation it's a very fantastic topic and if you don't know bit manipulation uh, like basic things so you can try it out otherwise i whatever bits topics are getting used in this i have already written something for you and i've explained this okay but if you have some time you can solve this problem number of one bits okay number of one bits means six is given so if i were write six in binary it will be one one zero and number of set bits will be one one two two bits okay so you can use this it's being it will be used in this problem as well okay all right so let's go to the my notes where i have written something for you okay okay all right so first thing which i want to explain to you is xor operator if you know xor operator it's great but if you don't know it's basically if i will do the xor of same numbers like zero zero or one one set bits so it will be zero but if i will do the xor of different numbers like zero one one zero so it will be giving me one sorry it will be one here okay so it will give me one so different bits one similar bits zero okay first thing i think you have got this now second thing is left shift operator so what is left shift or left shift operator okay so if pushing bits to left what does this mean pushing bits to left so here if i have explained this with the example as well so two if my suppose my number is two if i will write it in bits it will be one zero okay so one zero so if i will write something like one zero co i will left shift by two so it will be basically i will be adding two zeros at the left of at the right of one zero so two zeros at the right of one zero is this okay correct and what would be it in integer it's bits so it's bits okay first of all it's bits and what will be the these bits in integer it will be eight so if i will do two left shift two it will be eight okay i think that's correct and if you don't know and if you still haven't got what's left shift and right shift operator you can go to gfg there are a number of good notes present okay but i think i have explained this pretty well okay so now left shift operator is done xor done left shift operator done now third thing is in integer total number of bits can be 32 okay so if suppose i will write anything very big like 1024 i think every uh, a student might have done this in first year itself in regarding of whatever branch he or she has studied so 1024 is 2 raised to the power 8 i think 2 raised to the power 10 i think so it will be something like 1000 till 10 times 10 times okay so in the same way my total bits in integer is 32 okay so largest integer number will be having bits in only 32 bits okay so now what we are going to do i have written something for you here as well so first of all i will run a loop from 0 to 31 the bits are 32 so i will run a loop from 0 to 31 okay 31 included and then in the second loop inside first i will be running uh, looping through the array okay so i will be doing two things one loop 0 to 31 another loop from for the array elements now i will check suppose i for this my bit is currently at four okay so i will check whether fourth bit of all the numbers given are set or not so if look suppose one number is repeating three times two 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 okay and here i am checking i am checking the bit number let's say two two bit second bit so if i will do is what one zero one zero one zero okay so here if i'm checking whether mm, this second bit is set in all these numbers so yeah it's set so the total number of bits total numbers in which this bit is set it will be three okay two 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 but 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 let's suppose 
let's suppose i am checking for the bit 1 okay and i have numbers 2 2 2 and 1 okay so it's 1 0 1 0 1 0 and 1 so if i will be checking the first bit so in this first bit will be 0 in this first bit will be 0 in this first bit will be 0 in this first bit will be 1 okay fine first bit will be 1 so here i have written if count count number of bits that's set at that time and if that count modulus 3 is equal to 1 it means that bit will be set in our answer as well so i will set my bit in answer answer equal to answer or 1 is all right okay i think the approach will be clear now you will be checked thinking what's this what i have written so i have explained this as well let's go to that page okay so answer or 1 or i 1 left shift i so at any time let's suppose my answer is 8 okay answer is present currently 8 and my i is equal to 2 so if i'm writing writing answer and 1 is there and left shift 2 so it will be your answer and 1 left shift by 2 is 100 so here this 100 is not 100 it's basically 8 okay it's basically 8 1 2 4 oh sorry 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 it's basically 4 okay so if i will do answer is 8 and uh, this is 4 so if i will do or operator of 1 0 0 0 that is 8 and 1 0 0 that is 4 it will be 1 1 0 0 that is 12 okay so in this way i will be calculating my answer so suppose this bit was even this bit was uh, odd like uh, the modulus was one so i will take that bit as well and uh, then again i will take that bit as well so how i'm going to take that bits i'm going to take it with this okay all right i think that part is also clear now the new thing is how to check if the bit is set okay so as i've written here that count number of bits at that index one bits like set bits i mean set bits at that index so how i'm going to do that how to check if the bit is set so suppose the number is 1000 okay and i is 2 i is 2 so i have written that 8 that is number and then 1 pushing by i 1 left shift i okay so 8 and then 100 zero zero. so it will be what 0 it will be what 0 so i can say that the second bit okay second bit in this i is not set second bit in that number 8 is not set why because it is giving me 0 okay but if i is equal to 3 i equal to 3 in number 8 so i am doing what 1 pushing by i that is 3 so 1 pushing by i is 1000 okay so if i will do and of 1000 suppose look i am saying this 1000 in bits it's 8 in number okay i think that's clear that will be clear that at least so if i will do and of this thing so i will get give 1000 i will get 1000 which is not equal to 0 so if i'm get giving the 0 if i'm getting the 0 that means that bit is not set but if I'm not getting zero, it means that bit is set. Okay. So if you will try with more examples, more and more examples, you will be getting it more clear. But I think I've given the dry run of it. I have explained with the help of notes as well. So now let's jump onto the code section and write the code for it. Okay. Okay. So before writing the code for it, it's my humble request. If you have don't subscribe to the channel yet, please subscribe and write in comments whether the approach was clear or not. So I that I can better myself. Okay. So please subscribe and please comment if you have got us approach. Okay. All right. So as I've told my, I will take my one answer as zero. Okay. And after that for, I told first loop will be from zero to 32, or I will say less than equal to 31. Okay. I think both are similar then i plus plus now as i told the second loop will be for the array elements so for int i j, sorry j equal to 0 j is less than n j plus plus okay and after that as i told the count that count whether the ith how many in how many arr that ith bit is set okay so i will take one int count count equal to 0 now how i told if the count will only increase if arr let me write if arr of j that is the number and one i not equal to zero it means that it is set so i will do what count plus plus so if you if you haven't if you are still don't understand this line please go back i have already explained this very clearly okay how is this working okay and otherwise i'm not going to do anything so i will come out of this loop so here as i told if suppose i have bit i have count this i bit in j and if the count modulus 3 not equal to 0 oh let's say count modulus 3 equal to 1 that's also clear. yes correct so here now i will want to take that bit in my answer so how i'm going to take that bit in answer as i've already explained answer or equal to 1 of i okay so yeah that's it and after that i'm going to return my answer 
okay so this point this line and this line i have already explained very clearly in the notes so please go back and uh, if you still if you can't understand so you can go back and solve understand this okay so that's it let's try to compile this i'm also solving this after a long time okay so i've got few errors first one is this or i have to remove because i try to purify it by giving some spell but it's not correct and the second thing is this not equal to priority precedence is higher than this and okay so not equal to will implement first which will give me the wrong answer so i have to do this okay and uh, let's uh, okay oh one more error sorry i'm also writing it after so much time so now is uh, int count will be here okay so now it's perfectly fine let's try to compile it again count will be upper here only okay great let's try to submit it then and then if you have loved the solution please don't forget to subscribe the channel because 99% of guys are not subscribing okay so i've explained all the three ways i have explained you what's the number of set bit how to do this how to calculate this with the help of notes so i hope everyone of you have loved the solution okay so thanks for watching and i'm gonna see you again tomorrow till then keep on coding and bye and subscribe the channel please okay